Hi, it's Miss Ali. It's time for story time. Are you ready? Today is Tuesday, March 24th. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It's been a pretty great day. So I hope you're able to get outside and play. Maybe take a walk. Maybe play with your dog or just sit outside and listen to the birds. It was pretty nice around here, so I hope you were able to enjoy the day as well. All right, let's get right into it, okay? I just want you to see my shirt, just making sure that everyone knows that I am the best mom ever because my sweet, sweet Mr. B, Ben, got this shirt for me, and I can tell that you're jealous. So, um, let's start with the more we get together. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. Okay, you want to stand up? We're going to do if you're happy and you know it. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stop, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, two or well, three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, two or well, three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, two or well, three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Good job! Okay, let's sing our ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Mommy and Daddy are proud of me. Good job. You're learning your ABCs. Okay, let's do our wiggles. Ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes, wiggle your toes. I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my nose. Now the wiggles are out of me and I'm just as still as I can be. Let's do our deep breaths. Are you ready? We're gonna do five of them just like last time. We'll go in through our nose, out through our mouth. We'll hold our breath just for a second. Okay, I'm going to count with my hand. Ready? So this is number one. In, hold it, and out. Number two. In, hold it, and out. Good. Number three. In. Hold it. Out. Number four. In. Hold it. And out. And five. In. 
hold it and out. Good. Taking those slow, deep breaths is really, really helpful sometimes. Okay? All right. I found the perfect book for these days that we're all stuck inside, trying to find ways to entertain ourselves. And this is something that I hear Sophie, Ben, and Maisie say all the time, and it makes me a little crazy. And maybe you say this too. So maybe this will help you. Ready? There's nothing to do. By Dev Patty, illustrated by Mike Bolt. There's nothing to do. Makes parents and grandparents crazy. Ready? He's pretty funny. Oh. Let's see, on the inside he says, do you know what I should do today? Oh, sorry, you're reading. I'll wait. Are you done yet? He's a little impatient. He looks very bored. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do and I'm bored. I don't know what to do today. You can't think of anything? I can think of lots of things, but I don't want to do any of them. Want to go for a swim? Not today, it's cold. Too wet. Play? With what? Look at all those toys. What's Pig doing? Eh, probably something boring. Then clean up your room. I just did. I will see if my friends have any better ideas. Rabbit, what should we do today? Hop around in circles and then Tear off into space like this. This is even less fun than it looks. I love it. Cat, there's just nothing to do. Well then, you should lick between your toes for a while. Ew. If you know a better way to clean between your toes, I'd like to hear about it. Owl, I don't know what to do. Do you have any ideas? Sure. First, find a nice spot and sleep until it's dark and wake up and that's it. Who wants to spend the whole day sleeping? I do. Good night. Pig, I can't find anything to do. Have you tried sniffing around in the dirt? Why would I do that? If you have to ask, I can't explain it to you. I know. Let's take a look at my trusty list. It says, Pig's fantastic list of things to do when he doesn't know what to do. Turn it over. Here's the list. Continued. Number one, build model of Eiffel Tower. Here you did that. Number two, hum for three hours without stopping once. Number three, stare at the wall. Check that one off. Number four, try not to think about squirrels or their fluffy tails. Number five, wake owl. Number six, spin around until just, oh, we can't see those. Pig, I'm not sure this list qualifies as fantastic. What's the matter? The day is almost over and I didn't do anything. Why do you have to do anything? Just be. Watch clouds go by. 
Think about stuff. Then put do nothing on your to-do list and check it off. Sometimes the best ideas come when you stop looking for them. Really? Let's try it. Take a deep breath. Empty your mind. Oh, it's empty. Be one with the universe. One with the universe. Check. Now, wait. Waiting. I've got it! I have a great idea! Wonderful. Glad I could help. Sit with me for a minute. So, what did you do all day? Nothing. And you know what? It was great! I came up with the best idea of what to do tomorrow. You have school tomorrow. Oh, I can't go to school. Rob's to-do list. I've got nothing to do. Pretty funny. All right, friends. I have one more very good book. Then we'll do a couple songs and another story. This is an older one and a classic, Little Hoot. Little Hoot by one of my favorites, Amy Cross Rosenthal and Gren, Jen Corachi. I hope I'm saying that right. Little Hooch. These books are the best. Ready? Little Hooch. I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see the pictures better. Once up on a branch, there was a fellow named Little Hoot. Little Hoot was a happy little owl. He liked going to school. Who, whom, who's? He liked playing hide and seek with his forest friends. He even liked it fine when Mama Owl said it was practice time. Time to practice pondering, sweetie. Hmm. Okay, now practice your staring. Staring right, staring left, staring right. But there was one thing Little Hoot did not like. Bedtime. Because when you're an owl, you have to stay up late, late, late. That's just the way it is. All my other friends get to go to bed so much earlier than me. Why do I always have to stay up and play? It's not fair. If you want to grow up to be a wise owl, you must stay up late, said Papa Owl. And besides, I don't give a hoot what time your friends go to bed. In this family, we go to bed late. Rules of the roost. Stay up and play for one more hour and then you can go to sleep, Mama Owl compromised. One whole hour. He boo-hooed one whole hour, she cooed. So off he went. He's thinking, when I grow up, I'm going to let my kids go to bed as early as they want. I'm sure your family might think the same thing. He played swords. He played on the jungle gym. He built a fort. He jumped in the leaves. He jumped on the bed. Can I stop playing now? Pleaded little Hoot. Ten more minutes of playing, mister. And please don't ask me again. All right, the young owl scowled. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, Five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, 
eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes. There, I played for one whole hour. Now can I go to bed? Yes, now you can go to bed, but woo hoo, woo hoo, bedtime. And little owl flew right into bed. But wait, stalled Mama Owl. What about a bedtime story? And don't forget a glass of water, added Papa Owl. But it was too late. Little Hoot was already fast asleep. Snooze, snore, drool. So they tucked in his feathers, gave him a peck on the cheek, and the owl lived happily ever after. Did you like that one? Okay, let's sing Peanut Butter and Jelly. Okay, ready? Okay. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. First you take the peanuts and you smash them. You smash them, you smash them, smash them, smash them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them. You squish them, you squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it. You spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. Good job, friends! Okay, now this next song is definitely going to get me in trouble, but I think it's very important because I know a lot of my friends have had to celebrate their birthdays while they've been stuck in the house. So, this is for all of those birthday people that have been last week, this week, next week, maybe the week after. Maybe you have some in your family or a friend. We've got lots of them in my family and friends, but especially, I see I had to write them down because I've got so many. My nephew James and my friend Allison and my friend Cayenne, and there's Clara, and Susie, and Lauren, and so many more. So, this is for all of you guys, okay? We're gonna sing together. We're gonna sing Happy Birthday. Ready? Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to my quarantined friends. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <sighs> it's a birthday you'll never forget, okay? So, I love you all. All right, and on that note, a book of love by Emma Randall. Ready? I'll try not to cry. A Book of Love. Love is something we all need every single day. It really isn't hard to show and give in your own way. We often show our love with touch like a great big hug or kiss, which of course we can't do as much now, right? But there are lots of ways to show you care and ideas not to miss. 
if grandpa needs a helping hand or granny walks quite slow. Being patient shows your love. Just wait and watch it grow. If somebody is feeling down or having a rotten day, simply listening is enough to help make things okay. Thoughtful presents show your love. I hope you are aware. Making someone feel special lets them know you care. Love is shown through act, kind acts, too, like washing dirty dishes. I'm going to read this one to my children. Or you could bring mom a piece of cake with candles for birthday wishes. Or you could sing happy birthday to your friend. To offer a gentle word or two and consider how others feel are both examples of selfless acts that prove your love is real. Sometimes loving can be hard when someone makes us blue, but forgiving and forgetting helps and is the right thing to do. Forgiving can be hard. You don't have to forget, but forgiving is the important part, right? When your sister sneaks into your room taking toys when you're not there, oh boy, this looks like my three. There's Sophie, Ben, and Maisie. <laughs> you could get mad and stamp your feet but it's loving to let her share. I do need to read this in my house. If somebody is feeling small or even needs protection, show support, stand up for them, and offer some affection. Like a bully, right? Bullies aren't nice. It's hard sometimes to see the good in people who aren't kind. But if you can, look past their faults. It's surprising what you might find. We're all wonderfully different and come in many colors and sizes. If we love each other as we are, just watch how everyone rises. Everyone on earth needs love. This gift we give for free. And if we all loved one another like this, think how lovely the world would be. So, that's how I'm imagining all of our houses. Just putting hearts out into the universe, right? Sending love to all of our friends all of our family, especially when we can't be together just now, okay? So, remember, wash your hands, get plenty of rest, eat your vegetables, brush your teeth, listen to whoever's in charge, okay? And then we'll see you next time, okay? Bye.